In this video, I'm going to show you that how we can reverse engineer an executable file which is generated from Python code. Before going to this video, if you haven't checked out my previous video on reverse engineering, then do check that out and let's get started. Also, if you are new to our channel and if you don't know about our website, which is bepractical.tech, then I recommend you to check that out. We have awesome labs for cyber security as well as web development over there. As you can see, here we have web development labs and cyber labs. Inside the cyber lab, we have right now all these labs are based on account takeovers and which are based on real world scenarios. So you can improve your bug bounty as well as your cyber security skills. Apart from that, we have articles related to cyber security as well as web development. As you can see over here, we have an article currently on bypass antivirus and we have so much more articles. So do check this website out. And now finally, let's get started for this video. Now, first of all, let us try to create a simple Python file. Then we are going to convert it into executable file. So I'm just going to create one file. So I'm going to open my PowerShell and let us create a simple uh, file. Let's say crack.py. And inside this file, we are going to write our code. So let's write a very simple code. Let's say uh, password equals to input enter your password and if password equals to Fayas then print authenticated else print wrong password so this is a very simple uh, python program which takes input from the user and if that input contains a string which is Fayaz with a replaced by at the rate then it, it is going to print authenticated else it is going to print wrong password so let us try to run this file and let's see whether everything is working fine or not so crack dot py sorry python crack dot py and as you can see let's try a wrong password let's say be practical hit enter and as you can see it is showing wrong password but if i provide right password which was Fayaz with a replaced by at the rate and as you can see it is showing me authenticated now let us convert this file into an executable file so i'm just going to type auto pi to exe and i'm going to convert it using this software let's wait for a few seconds and as you can see we have autopy 2 exe running i'm just going to select the file from here desktop and we're going to select one file and let's click on convert.py to exe let us wait for a few seconds So perfect as you can see the compilation has been completed and now we have our executable file over here as you can see here it is the executable file and let's try to run this file so if i try to run this file let's wait for a few seconds and as you can see it is working fine now we are going to reverse engineer that file and we are going to convert this executable file back to the python code now that we have created our executable file we are going to reverse engineer it and to perform reverse engineering on this particular file we need to have two tools so let me show you what they are so the first one is this particular tool pycdc so we need to install this on our kali machine and we have to install this one also py instructor file so this basically used to uh, extract the files which are uh, generated by py installer so we are going to use this tool and to install both of these tools in our machine we need to 
copy the links and then we are going to clone it so let me show you how we can do that so suppose I want to install this tool first so over here I'm going to open my Kali Linux machine and by the way if you don't know that how to install Kali Linux on Windows machine without the use of VirtualBox or VMware then I recommend you check, to check out my video in which I have shown you that how we can do that so as you can see our Kali Linux is up and running and now I'm going to move to my desktop so I'm just going to move quickly to my desktop stop and we have our executable file in this output folder right now as you can see here is the file crack.exe now first of all we are going to clone pi instructor sorry pi instructor so i'm just going to copy this and here let's paste this link and let's wait for a few seconds it is going to take some time depending on your internet connection now that we have this pi instructor installed in our machine we are going to use this and we are going to extract the, all the files from this executable file which is generated by pi installer so first of all first of all i'm going to move this to the folder of pi instructor and therefore there i'm going to move to pi instructor and let us use this particular tool now for that I'm going to type python python3 sorry pyinstructor.py and, and we are going to type crack.exe hit enter and as you can see it has successfully extracted all the files from this particular executable file so if I hit ls as you can see we have a new directory crack.exe underscore extracted let's move to this particular directory and as you can see all of these files are extracted from that particular executable file but the file that we are interested in is this particular file crack.pyc this is the file that contains the code which is written by us so we are going to see that how we can extract that file right now if I try to see the content of this file let me show you as you can see it is uh, pretty much encrypted therefore we are going to need the second tool which was pycdc to extract that particular file so let us see that how we can install this tool so i'm just going to copy the link let's move back and let me clone this file over here again as you can see the file has been cloned now let's move to the directory here as you can see we have uh, jumped into the directory and now we need to create a folder let's say build and we're going to move into the build and then we are going to type a command which is cmake cmake and double dot hit enter it is going to take some time and as you can see the build file has been written now and if I type ls over here as you can see these are the files and now we need to type make and after that hit enter So as you can see, now PYCDC has been installed successfully in our machine and what we need to do is we need to simply run this file. So let's head back to the extracted file. So it was inside the extractor and here we have to move into the extracted folder. And now to view the content of this particular file, what we need to do is we need to type PYCDC and after that the file name which is crack.pyc 
and if we hit enter as you can see we successfully got the code that we have written before converting it into the executable file right so i hope that you have understood that how we can decompile and reverse engineer python executable files which are generated through pyinstaller if you guys have any doubts if you guys have any issues then please let me know in the comment section also don't forget to join our telegram channel where we can discuss multiple uh, things related to cyber security web development anything that you like so with that said thanks for watching